I see several chains in the spirit. Hear me? Inside and outside. And at the count of seven, I already see a well-winged fire. At the count of seven, chains will begin to be broken. Please, ushers, get ready and bring those people out. At the count of seven, instrumentalists, walk with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chains. Hallelujah. We're going to shout Jesus. This is the instruction the Holy Ghost is giving me. We're going to shout the name of Jesus just three times. Hallelujah. I see the hands of many people bound. I see chains. It looks silvery. Bound. Let's just flow with what the Spirit is doing. Jesus, three times, especially for those of you outside. Satan is in trouble tonight. I told you there's no discussion tonight. There's no discussion. Hallelujah. Inside and outside. We're going to shout Jesus three times. At the third shout, there will be such an invasion of the Holy Spirit. Chains will be broken. Are you ready? Shout it once. Jesus! Are you ready? Let's shout the second time. Jesus! Hey! Hallelujah. Now get set for the last shout, especially for those of you outside. Satan, you are in trouble. Hey, Satan, you are in trouble. The name that is above all names. The name that is above all names. Shout it one more time. Jesus! I don't know why I'm saying chains chains are being loose. Chains are being loose. Especially outside. Chains. 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 Chains.
Hallelujah. Isaiah 60. Just lift your Bible. Isaiah 61, sorry. Isaiah 61 Now Satan I speak to you Let this lady go right now I command I see movements around your stomach I command that demonic influence over you To be broken right now By the power of the Holy Ghost let her go now let her go right now in the name of jesus isaiah 61 the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord had anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives an opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto those who mourn in zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord and then it ends with a dangerous statement it said that he might be glorified that means in these things he will be glorified this is how he is glorified when the sick are healed when the captives are free when the garment of praise is given for the spirit of heaviness then he is glorified he said god is doing all of these things not just because your name is joshua he's doing it that he might be glorified that's why we're singing that song i glorify your name so when we sing it he begins to heal he begins to bless so that he will be glorified the spirit of god is in this place tonight and i see different kinds of sicknesses and challenges but i need you to know that god is going to surprise you tonight the spirit of the lord is upon me listen to me jesus was speaking to the disciples in john chapter 10 and verse 10 he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy say after me to steal to kill and to destroy the thief comes to steal satan has always been in the ministry of destroying men you can look at a life and know whether or not satan has passed through that life when satan passes through a life he leaves that life with sickness oppression poverty all kinds of trauma and our society is full of men and women who are living in fear in bondage in poverty he said the thief cometh not every time you seek him in an environment he steals all the blessings that the lord has apportioned for his people he kills he destroys when satan steps into a family it doesn't matter how hard working they are he wrecks that family 
wrecks everyone in that family but the bible says in obadiah 21 it says and saviors shall arise from out of zion it says and they shall judge the mount of esau the saviors shall arise men and women who are filled with the spirit of the living god and let me tell you something any gospel that cannot bring people from out of bondage are you listening to me from out of sickness from out of poverty from out of failure and defeat and bring them to a point where they represent the exact counsel of god that gospel is dead is just religion and is powerless but sick and tired of powerless gospels and motivations he said when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith might not be upon um, the wisdom of man but upon the power of god we live in a world where people are oppressed real oppression there are many of us represented here right now that our families are suffering so much the economic hardship and the economic depression is telling so much on people sickness everywhere and the hospitals are doing their best but they are coming to a point where they are acknowledging the fact that there is only so much they can do there's got to be a voice that will arise there's got to be a generation that will say there is a solution otherwise our praying in tongues makes no relevance to the people in the world until they see the manifestation of the power of god that hiv is broken and it bows that cancer and sickness dies that deafness and lameness goes that a deformed heart is not just healed but a creative one a new one comes we are not talking of healing we are talking of a brand new one why will you need a, a healing of your heart when you can get a new one hallelujah that oppression from demons will live and will go genotypes changed when john the baptist said go and ask jesus is he the messiah jesus said go and tell him the blind see the deaf hear the cripples are walking that means this is the manifestation of the kingdom hallelujah and before we begin tonight i want to encourage you everyone listen please you have a responsibility to play the responsibility is that you must believe god the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe that he is hallelujah now it's not the time to sit down and wonder and say can god the bible says they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness now it's not the time to watch other people and just wish now is the time to confront and to conquer and to say this sickness you're leaving me once and for all i don't care the stories they gave you around it now it's not the time to bring out your medical report and keep admiring it tonight is the time where you get angry the bible says woe unto them who are at ease in zion there are many of us who are oppressed by satan in us our, our lives and our families this is a time where you challenge yourself and say lord in this miracle service i'm ready to chart a new course there's no moving forward and coming backward no can i tell you something about satan he hates me very much for this but let me tell you satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance and disobedience permits him to be are you listening to me satan is only as powerful to the degree that your ignorance in the word of god or your disobedience to applying the principles that bring the blessings permit him but jesus said i saw satan fall like lightning 
you see he didn't say i am seeing him falling i saw it it's past he has fallen hallelujah and so you must believe god tonight many of us are carrying requests some of them absolutely impossible situations but can you take your eyes off those things and say lord i know i know that you are able many of us have gone to the hospital again and again and again and again and the doctors have said you would live with this i've shared my testimony again and again i had a fungal infection that affected me for a great portion of my life there was no hospital i didn't go to no kind of medication everything didn't work god healed me by the power of his spirit so i know that miracles exist take away that religious spirit and those demonic teachings that many have indoctrinated people with that the era of miracles have passed because the faith life is a miraculous life you've got to take away that mentality and say lord i believe don't just wish and say lord if you want that's a demonic teaching for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom get angry with poverty get angry with your family members begging and crying from hand to mouth moving up and down when you get dissatisfied in your spirit then you are ready to receive a miracle get ready to act upon the word when you hear the word and you receive the word you receive it into your spirit and enforce it by faith hallelujah this is why you came tonight i prayed a prayer and i told god i said lord we don't just want a few people five six seven people receiving miracles and breakthroughs in their lives if that's all we get tonight we have failed for every time the waters is being stirred whoever jumps into it and can i tell you something the waters is no longer stirred once it's stirred as much as your faith will want it to be stirred i have my requests that are put before god and i'm coming here very seriously to take the things that god has apportioned for me are you listening to me and so i'm challenging everyone inside and outside you've got to connect open up your spirit now it's not the time to be distracted let me tell you something one encounter tonight can change your life forever are you listening to me meetings like this are very prophetic and are very sensitive one encounter from god can change your life forever one encounter with his anointing can set you free of any kind of terminal disease lose concentration away from satan forget about satan satan is not the issue tonight your faith connecting and let me challenge you do not allow satan deceive you and lie to you and say you are so bad and your life is so terrible you cannot receive a miracle everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again he didn't heal one person who was born again because the holy spirit had not come upon them but like blind Bartimaeus, if you can say thou son of david have mercy upon me tonight you will experience the power and the glory of god god is going to be doing some dramatic things in this place and i'm encouraging every one of you to open up your spirit so that you will not just waste your time and you'll not just be a ceremony that you came for miracle service it's not a name it's an experience are you listening to me where god upgrades your life and takes you to a point where your life is nothing short of beauty and glory hallelujah his presence is in this place strong and mighty to heal to deliver to transform to set free the thief cometh not
Jesus is not the author of sickness. Hear me. You must convince yourself. Take away that devilish mindset that says God gave me the sickness to test me. No. If he gave you the sickness, why are you here to be healed? Jesus cannot bring sickness upon you to test you. The Bible says God is love. Hallelujah. So tonight you must take responsibility. I am SS because my family members are SS. No way. Make up your mind and take responsibility. And say Lord tonight I lay it once and for all. Not healed now. And then you are back into sickness. Many of us have suffered delays in our lives. When you look at your, you know that there are certain levels in life that you would have accomplished. Now is the time to place a demand and say, Lord, by the Spirit, you are taking me to that plane. Recovery, restoration. There are many of us that the Lord has spoken certain blessings to our lives that we are supposed to see, but we have not seen it. Now is the time to place a demand. And challenge the powers of Satan. That there be a manifestation of those things that God has spoken. There are many of our family members. That have suffered so much. Suffered in their job places. Everything they lay their hands to do. Dies. They start a business. It dies. Everything. It works for others. But when it gets to your turn. Or that of your family members. It dies. From the beginning it was not so and tonight we are partnering with the holy spirit and believing that god will take us to that position listen challenge yourself that something about your life hear me challenge yourself that something about your life must change i'm trying to provoke you by the spirit so that you will know and realize that you can take this it's it's within your reach you must get angry enough get full of faith enough hallelujah listen don't leave this place tonight do not leave this place tonight without a tangible miracle for your life are you listening to me refuse it refuse it bless a demand and say no way i'm not stepping out of this place with that sickness i'm not stepping out with that poverty an idea must come upon my spirit i'm not stepping at this level in the spirit I'm not living at this level of grace. Lift up your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Raise a cry. Even as we prepare the ground. Place a demand. Place a demand. Place a cry.
In the beginning, look at the order. God created the heavens and the earth. We didn't have an opportunity. That's how many people are. Lord, is it what is there with stadium? Is it not just human beings? And God is saying there's something there. The attack that comes on you when you fill one stadium. The kind of stuff came down. When it is God, he has no time to come key by key. The entire foundation must go.